Hey guys, it's Finn Hain, and have you ever wondered how do I deal with juggernauts? Well, first I stun them with concussion grenade, and after they are slow and uh, easy to kill, I will land a couple of shots on them and then stab them, you know? Knifing is one of the best ways to kill juggernauts, since you only need 5 knife stabs when he has full health and he will drop, you know? Don't use explosives, except Semtex if you get stuck. So, uh, you might wonder why did I place my trophy system just to stab it and destroy it. Well, um, I'm sure some of you know. Know this glitch, I don't know if you can call it a glitch. I Obviously the game developers screwed up there. But um, I only destroyed my trophy system to get uh, a Citra Pro like you see I, did, I do it again here. I um, After this guy I will land my trophy system here and stab it so I will it will count as um, if I destroyed enemy equipment and obviously that's not supposed to be that way it's a glitch they forgot to do it correctly you know well uh, even though they screwed up there I kinda hope they will patch it because you need 50 uh, <laughs> destroyed enemy equipment still until you get a uh, Citra Pro and that's a um, fast and fun way to do it, you know. So anyway, I'm playing Drop Zone, as you have noticed. This isn't exactly my first Drop Zone, I think it's something like my third or second Drop Zone gameplay. But um, yeah, this went pretty well um, comparing to my first one, that was, that was just horrible, you know. And uh, at first I didn't like drop so I just it, it was so chaotic and I didn't like it because it was more chaotic than Nuketown was on Black Ops when it was Domination. And by the way, here's uh, another Juggernaut. I kill him with my Cheater Six C. Don't be afraid to take on Juggernauts. They are not immortal. So yeah, first I didn't like this game mode at all because it was so chaotic, more chaotic than Nuketown uh, Domination in Black Ops. But I'm I found it to be way more fun when I'm playing with my friends because it's kind of like um, Marvel Warfare 3 playground. You just go to this zone and you get all these care packages. But uh, what I didn't like about it, it was so confusing. Uh, like uh, care packages flying out uh, around everywhere and red smoke and you can't see a thing. What the heck? Yeah. Then I um, started playing with my friends. I took a, uh, another match of this and uh, I found it. Uh, be kind of fun. I got killed with gear package, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I found it kind of fun because it's fun to compare with your friends. That hey, I got uh, AC one thirty. I got juggernaut. Oh, I got ass assault drone. You know, kind of fun thing to do with your friends, but not so much if you're playing uh, solo. But yeah, I'm using Cheater Six C just for variety. Even though I like CM nine hundred one a lot, it's fun to use other weapons every now and then. And I, and I like G36 too. Yeah, and what else? This uh, drip, uh, drop zone is kind of like a modified headquarters, or I would call it something like that. But um, on top of you getting experience points when you control the drop zone, you also um, get care packages. But uh, this requi requires you to be in the drop zone in else to get those experience points and you get like a, uh, 20 experience points each second and yeah you would think that it's a great way to get experience points but the um, point roof isn't really that great it's only 7500 points like in a regular team deathmatch <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it might be a little confusing when all these gear packages flying around and it takes more time for you to pick up the other players gear packages than it takes if you manage to pick up your own gear package. You get it almost instantly. And yeah, I, I don't want to rob my teammates gear packages. I, I, love to, <laughs> I love to steal enemy gear packages, but not so much other players. So this assault drone was mine because I get, got it so quickly. So yeah. But I didn't get any kills with this because I, I think Assault Drone isn't really that great, you know, the machine gun isn't that powerful. But yeah, I would recommend Blast Shield Pro because there obviously will be a lot of 
grenades flying around because every single player will focus on the one one drop zone which isn't that big they will all attack it once and there is no respawn timer they will respawn instantly and uh, they will all try to get to the drop zone at the same time so definitely use blast shield pro that's my recommendation even though in this game i am using assassin but uh, i think blast shield pro would be way more effective and also extreme conditioning might be a good choice too because drop zone will um switch its place every now and then and uh, it's important to be the first in the line you know you will get the first gear package and the enemy players won't come there as fast as you go there you know and yeah watch out for these gear packages flying around there will be multiple gear packages uh, dropping down and in this game as you saw I got killed with a gear package you know and it's not so unusual now that this game mode has been introduced you know, before gear packages were kind of rare because not not so many people happen to be on the, uh, under the gear package helicopter when it comes dropping the gear packages. But uh, I think because of this gameplay, uh, this game mode, gear package skills aren't gonna be that uh, that uh, rare anymore. I don't know if that's good or bad, but uh, still pretty fun game mode to play with your friends if you just wanna have fun, you know. <laughs> I think YouTube's gonna be full of gear package skills soon. And uh, yeah, this gameplay was pretty short because drop zone games are usually kind of short. As I said, the <coughs> point roof isn't that great. It's only 7,500 points, and you will get those points very quickly. And yeah, but I still prefer the original game modes. This is more like a fun mode, not really a competitive mode even though i always play call to the for fun still this is like a you know like i said kind of like a playground in my opinion it's so chaotic so it isn't exactly for my kind of player who likes to play free for all and have that uh, excitement in it you know so yeah but still pretty fun but not exactly my kind of game type i don't know how much am i gonna play this game mode but um Maybe every once in a while with my friends. So yeah. Those were my first impressions. Well not exactly my first. My first impressions would have been something like. Uh, nah this game, game mode is garbage you know. Because I didn't like the first time when I played Drop Zone. But uh, with party yeah it's definitely way, way more fun. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's pretty much about it. I don't know what else to say at this point. Maybe I should talk about the future, what I'm, go I'm gonna do next. Well, I'm planning on doing the bouncing belly guide. That's something I haven't done yet. And also um, some kind of a pistol gameplay, pistols only and um, in a free for all most likely. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get a good gameplay with pistol so I can present it to you guys and if I get my Citroen Pro soon I might switch to search and destroy because Citroen Pro is really effective when you uh, when you're playing search and destroy and uh, have headsets like I do and yeah that's pretty much it that AH6 overwatch was apparently mine because I got it so quickly but I don't really have time to use it since um, <coughs> I think this game was already over. Look, I just got the trophy or the challenge. I destroyed 15 enemy equipment. So like I said, trophy system somehow counts as enemy equipment. You know, kind of funny. Anyway, I was unable to get, get that final stand guy. But uh, yeah, what can you do? Anyway, thanks for watching. And please comment, rate and subscribe. Peace.